welcome back to the vlogs vlog week seven can you believe it house is an absolute mess right now i've just filmed what have i just filmed i've just filmed a reel in the spare room because the wardrobes aren't here yet still really annoying and i'm not mad i'm not just walking around the house in a big coat i've just been filming in this i really can't face tidying that room right now i cannot face it i've got lashes on for the first time in over a week so i'm feeling really glam actually longer than a week about two weeks i've not had lashes on Ooh, feeling like a glam puss um what am i doing today so i have got all my filming done that i needed to do as i said upstairs looks like a bomb's hit it we'll address that later i can't be bothered to go up there right now and face it no thanks um i'm shooting with dion this evening yeah about five o'clock i'm gonna sh go and shoot with dion um just gonna get a few outfits done so i'll take you for that why not is it really a vlog if dion doesn't pop up somewhere we've actually got a really fun day planned for for tomorrow well afternoon and um, we're gonna go into town um, get a couple of things done but I'll show you that tomorrow but it's an exciting day just a, another girly day but we're doing something a little bit spontaneous tomorrow because why not so what is there to update you on yeah wardrobes aren't here fantastic absolute joy of my life dining room's getting dining room bare room's getting painted on Thursday so I've tried to book in my diary this week i've basically filled my diary for monday to wednesday so that thursday i can have off and not do any work and just paint in there i just want a full day in there painting just to get it done i'm really really still hoping by the end of this week it's going to be finished and i can show you it all next week i'm really really excited like just to have that space to put on my clothes i'm so excited right i need to go and pack my outfits for shooting because I've not got them ready yet and I think we're going in about an hour so I need to quickly go and get them ready I'm hungry I need a Kit Kat and some water I'm, I'm dehydrated do you ever have these days where you're so busy that you like forget to even have a drink of water and then all of a sudden you've got a splitting headache and you're like I wonder why I've got a headache and then I realise I've literally not drank a single thing all day and I'm absolutely gasping so I'm gonna go have a drink pack my outfits um, and then go shoot so i will bring you along i've got today i've got a very very um like dressy outfit to shoot which is a bit different for me i feel like most of my feed is like day-to-day -day casual kind of looks so i'm really excited by this one it's something a bit different so yeah it's, it's a brand called mimi london their vibe is it kind of reminds me like a very house of cb kind of vibe so yeah really really nice like going out i mean i say going out oh is anyone really going out now but let's say occasion wear nice dinner wear it's no longer going out it's just overdressing for dinner that is the new occasion so if you're looking for an outfit that you want to overdress for dinner on i'll show you it because I think I'm going to shoot it first. Because I can't think of anything worse than trying to get that outfit on in a car. Okay, so we are out shooting now. We're both in like really dressy outfits. I've got this like white shirt slash like... It's almost like a shirt dress meets like a corset dress. Because it's kind of got like the baggy shirt on top. And then it nips in at the waist. And it's almost like a corset. And I've just got these like lace up heels on with them. Dion's got an ASOS blazer dress on. ASOS blazer dress. Last time they saw us we both were very um, intoxicated. Oh god yeah. I think you should apologise for all your I'm actions. very sorry for everything that I did on the vlog. I take it all back. Actually I do not take it all back. So we're looking very dressy again. We are very dressy. Yeah last time we saw them we were Semi dressy. Semi dressy. Semi makeshift dressy. I That's wish we were as dressy, dressy as this, but we Yeah, were. I wish we'd made this much effort. But we didn't. This is for a car park. This is for a car park for <laughs> five minutes, and then we're gonna get changed. So actually, could you hold that just so I could show like yes, the dress? Length. It's, it's unreal. Say. You see it Oh yeah, uh, no, like, go around this way. You can see it on there. That's better. Like that? Yeah. So, yeah, that is the full length. Please excuse the horrible fight time on my legs. <laughs> <laughs> you yes. can't really see. 
like I said, it's like kind of like a baggy shirt on top, which is definitely my vibe. But then like nips in, and it's like a corset. I love it. So it's, I mean, it's, it's very flattering. Is it so flattering? Honestly, I mean, it's. I love the top half. Just you know, I don't wear like body comp. Yeah, you know but it looks really nice. You should. Like, yeah, no, love it. Love. Hello. It's currently what time is it? Eleven o'clock. And I know it very much looks like I'm still in my pyjamas. I'm not. I had to get a photo in these pyjamas for um, a collab that I'm working on. So I've just got my pick in them. And I'm glad now because now I've actually got a picture in them. I can just wear them tonight. So I'm really excited. So it's quite funny this morning. I literally was in my pyjamas, had a shower, got out the shower, put on new pyjamas and then started work. It was an absolutely glorious day. So... I'm excited to actually put these on later. Oh. Anyway, I have done some work this morning. I've obviously got my picture in this. I sat down in these, feeling very silky and comfy. Although looking very glam for pyjamas, let's be real. Um, so I did some emails and had to send a few things off for approval. So I've just done that. And now I'm about to film. So I, my room upstairs, let's just not even talk about it because I filmed a couple of reels in there, so I've had to like move everything out. So currently my landing looks like a bomb's hit it. And I don't know what to say. I was supposed to start painting tomorrow. God knows if that is even gonna happen now, because honestly, work has just been a bit manic the last two weeks. So I'm really hoping I can just tick a load of things up. Although I'm not gonna be able to, the weather is disgusting. It's doing nothing but raining all day. So I was supposed to shoot some photos today. Can't do that. So I think I'm going to try and do that tomorrow morning. Like early tomorrow morning. And then just get in my painting stuff and start painting the spare room. Because I'm actually excited to get it done. So I'm going to do that. So right now I'm going to go upstairs. Get my stuff ready to film. Um, that should probably take me about an hour. Hour and a half. And then I'm going to see Dion again. Shock. Um, and we're popping into town. So I'll take you with me and I'll see you in a bit. Please excuse all of the mess in the corner of the room. I filmed a reel this morning, so I needed all this space clear. So I basically shoved everything up the corner of my room. You can see my lights are still set up as well behind me. It's really, really dark today. So I apologize if it looks a bit gloomy and a bit gray, but I wanted to show you what I was wearing today. So I am just about to go into town with Dion. Um, so yeah, as I said, it's quite cold, it's quite miserable, but this is what I'm wearing today. So I am wearing my H&M jumper. This is the one from my latest haul. Um, and then over the top, I've got my H&M coat from last year. Loads of you always ask where this is from. Um, there is a really similar one that H&M did have in stock. However, when I checked this morning, it had completely sold out. Um, but I imagine I'll bring it back. I can't imagine them not having more of it in stock. Um, but yeah, this is unfortunately from last year, so I can't link this. Um, but I will try and find something similar anyway. Um, I have got H&M uh, leather leggings on. This wasn't intentionally supposed to be a full H&M outfit, but we're going to go with it. These are honestly, I'm just going to be wearing these to death. These are only 15 quid from H&M. And they're probably one of my favourite pairs of leather leggings that I've ever owned. They've obviously got like an elasticated waist, so they're really, really comfortable. Um, I've just took the top of my jumper in like that. And then this bag is from um, a brand called Princess Polly Boutique. They're an Australian brand. I did a collab with them um, last summer when they sent me loads of bits, but this bag has honestly been such a staple and loads of you always ask where it's from. It's such an ideal size for like the daytime because you can fit your phone, fit everything in there um, and obviously just have it across so it's not in your way and you've got like your hands free. So yeah, if that is still available on their website, I will link it, but as I said, it is from summer last year. So hopefully I can link it for you. And then these chunky boots are from last year as well. These are from Pretty Little Thing. Um, they're just really, really comfortable um, for walking in. So yeah, I thought these would be good for going into town. Um, so yeah, 
that is what I'm wearing today. Just got to Cartwheel, we're gonna have some brunch. We've been to the Morphe store, we've been to Superdrug, so I'll show you what we got when we got back. Yeah, we're gonna eat this now, because we are starving. Where's the car? Um, so me and Dion had our little day out. All my makeup has literally come off on the bottom half of my face, so I look disgusting. And we got our ears pierced, so I got Mine's my second. Bleeding. Dion's is severely bleeding. <laughs> you got your third and fourth, John. I got John. third and fourth. So I, got, got I got my seconds, but Dion's already ahead of me on that one. Also, Dion got blood on her. Oh my God, I got blood coat. on her new coat. She said it. We literally were bantering before we went in. Like, imagine we got on my coat, and then yeah. I was getting done. And she went, oh, I've got on your coat, and I was like, are you joking oh, me? Are fucking joking me? Well, it was like you weren't paying for though, was it? I didn't think. No, just I wasn't a little. At all. So, yeah. Oh, I can't even look at myself. I look dirty. I look like I need a wash. So, thought I'd update you on that. And when we get back, well, when I get back, I'll show you what I bought because I've bought some little goodies. Not a lot. Some bits from Morphe. So, I'll show you that. I need to get home and sort my face out because this is not okay. Right, I'm obviously back at home now. Um, excuse the way I looked earlier. I've been wearing, me and Dion realised we've been out for almost three hours. Literally wearing a mask and it just made me feel disgusting. I can already feel like a spot coming. I just feel gross. I need to get my makeup off and have a pamper. But first, I thought I'd quickly show you what I got. Um, first of all, this is, oh my god, can you see, look what it's done to my bronzer, the mask. Can you see that line? That is literally from wearing the mask. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll show you the other ear where my bronzer doesn't look quite so fucked up. Um, so I've got my little seconds pierced there. Look how cute they are. How cute. Let's ignore that. Let's just cover that up. But yeah, how cute. I already had my tragus pierced. Um, so I wanted my seconds done. I also want another one up here. Um, but I'm going to wait until these have like completely healed up. I don't want to fill my ears full of metal and not be able to sleep. Last night was quite hard because obviously I've had one in both ears. I couldn't, I'm like a side sleeper and I couldn't sleep on either side. So I had to like lie. I felt like I was in a coffin. I just lie on my back like this to sleep and it was horrible. It took me so long to get to sleep and I kept waking up throughout the night. I think it's because subconsciously I went to sleep knowing that I can't lie on my side. I need to stay on my back. Right, I can hear the dog scratching to get in through the back door. Let me go and let her in. Oh, of course you'd come here. Of course you'd come in here. You want to see what I've got. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what I bought anyway. So I went to Morphe in Nottingham. I think I've already shown you earlier this week. I ordered a few bits online. Um, but there's a few like shades and things like that that I wanted to actually go in the store and swatch and see. By the way, when you go into Morphe, you're not actually allowed to, um, obviously because of COVID, you can't touch any of the testers you can't swatch anything so you do have to like keep asking someone to see something but let me show you what i got so i got a lip liner i wanted to get my favorite ever lip liner from morphe it's called sweet tea and honestly it's about this big now and it's stressing me out because i know if i sharpen it one more time it's at that crucial point if i sharpen it one more time it's gonna die that's it it's had it so i got this one and um, it's slightly lighter than sweet tea but it's called sweetheart um and it's kind of let me just do a little swatch so that is sweetheart really reminds me of stripped down from mac so a tiny bit lighter than sweet tea but i like that sometimes i like not having such a dark lip line so love that i also got a lipstick in the shade bare all very very light nude really good for like the middle of your lips um so i'll swatch that and show you that so that is the shade bare all really really gorgeous nude i just thought for in like the middle of your lips i might even put a little bit on now do you know what i mean just for that little bit of a oh really like that and also I've got a gloss. I really, really love Morphe glosses. Um, and I've got a couple of like their more, how, what, what am I trying to say? They're more clear glosses. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. But this one is in the shade Shimmy. And it's in, it's got like gold reflex in it. And it's almost like a bit of a peachy, if I show you this, so it zooms in. 
it's almost like a bit of a peachy colour with gold reflex. So I'll swatch this. The colour is also buildable. So if you did want it to show up slightly more peachy, you could just you could easily layer this up. But if I show you the gloss, and that is the shade Shimmy, which I just thought was gorgeous, like over a nude lip, just to give it a little bit of. So yeah, that was my little mini Morphe haul. I also got um, a ring. I can't remember what the store was from. I will find out and I will, if they've got a website, I'm not sure if they're like a little independent store or a chain, but um, I will link them in the description box. But I got this absolutely beautiful, like chunky, almost looks like a vintagey ring. It's basically like a chunkier version of the one I wear on my middle finger, um, but I absolutely loved it. I thought this for maybe my ring finger, do you know what I mean? I love like chunky gold jewellery, um, so I bought that, it's only £7 as well, I was over the moon with that, um, and that was pretty much, I got some bits from Superdrug, like some hairspray and stuff like that, but yeah, that was what I bought. I've also got a little bit of an unboxing, I've come home to a parcel from knockwall so the big massive chunky trainers i wear on my instagram everyone always asks where they're from they're from this brand knockwall and their trainers i'm not joking so comfy and they very kindly gifted me um their new style that they've got out so it's like more of um it almost reminds me the shape is like an alexander mcqueen so or actually a bit like a nike air force one is what they're like with this shape especially with the little dots on the top there but yeah it's got knock wall on the back knock wall on the side there and it's also got knock wall on the tongue but how nice are these trainers going to be for winter and i know they're going to be so so comfy as well because my other ones i live in them and when i tell you they're like slippers i'm not joking so i'll link them as well in case anyone is interested but i'm sure you'll be seeing them all over my instagram no doubt so yeah, that is what I bought today. I am now going to sit down. I need to edit my reel that I filmed this morning. I want to edit that, get it up tonight. Uh, and then I've got a few little bits of emails and boring stuff, so I won't vlog that. Dinner, bed. I want an early night tonight. I am tired. Um, tomorrow I am shooting with... What am I doing? Yeah, I'm shooting with Andy. Um, so Dion's not shooting tomorrow. I'm not shoot. I'm shooting some. I'm basically working with a brand um, to help them get some content for their website. So I'm not shooting like my own put together outfits, if that makes sense. They've just sent me the outfits. It's like loungewear and that kind of stuff, and they just want photos. So they are they're paying me to go out and get content for them. I don't have to post it myself. It's just for them for their own use on their website. Um, so I didn't really want to shoot that stuff with Dion because I'd rather shoot our own outfits together um, and there's quite a lot to get done so me and Andy are going to go and just bash them out tomorrow um, and then yeah that is what tomorrow's looking like so I'm sure I'll show you some bits of what we go up to I probably won't vlog actually shooting with Andy um, just because we need to like just get it get them done but yeah I'm going to go take my face off because I feel gross have a shower and I will see you all tomorrow. Right, I am back from shooting. I've got on the last outfit that I shot, just this really nice cream, like loungewear set. It's so snuggly as well. Picked up a frap. Look at this, look how coordinated I am. This is an Instagram pic, if ever I saw one. But yeah, I've just got caramel, mm, frappuccino. I needed a coffee here today, I was so tired, but yeah. Managed to get all uh, my photos done that I needed to get done. Grabbed a cheeky starb, which is always good. Um, I'm now going to go downstairs. I'm going to make the living room really nice and cosy. Um, I'm also going to have a quick mid-afternoon shower. I'm going to scrub all like, my fake tan off and all of that. Totally cleanse my soul. Put this lounge dress set back on. Get on the sofa with my laptop. I've got a few things to edit, a few emails, but I'm just going to do it being cosy and with my candles on because, yeah. Um, today feels really, really autumn-y, like it's sunny, but
but it's quite cold. It's really nice. I love it. Uh, I'm also going to watch an episode of Ambulance. If you haven't watched Ambulance, you're missing out. It's literally like my... F I love those kind of shows. You know, shows that show like real life, things like Ambulance, like traffic cops, anything like that is like my guilty pleasure. I absolutely love it. So there's a new series of Ambulance. So I'm going to sit and watch that in my comfies, get everything done, finish my frap. That is the plan. We've um He's growing. I haven't actually updated you on what's happening. So hi. Hey. We went out on a little double date night. Come here. Didn't we? Yep. So Kobe Lulu's here. We've been out for some oh, lovely God. food and lovely drinks. Oh my God. We've been out for food and drinks and, food now, drinks. We... and now we're home and we've done a haul. Should we do a haul? Oh, so we're gonna show you our haul. A good tripod is on the Alexa if you want to put it on there. So Right guys, so did a little haul for our double date night. So first things first. We've got a lovely bottle of Villa Maria. If you watched your previous vlog, you'll yeah, know. We like that. We absolutely mm. downed it in mate, a hotel in mate, Manchester. Mate, that times two. Villa Maria. That's the first time. Maria, Maria. She reminds me of a West Side Story. Right, so I've right, got that. And then we've got two cartons of sugar free. Red Bull, because we're on a diet. Um, a diet, sugar free. Can someone please take them off our hands? <laughs> but why do you have Red Bull? I hear you say. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, no. You're moist. I'm getting no. moist. Oh. Do you want to shake them? No, don't shake it. Oh. A little bit of Jager bombs here and there, sweetie. And then. Can I just say I hated Jager bombs when I met Alex and I had to learn to write them. Then we've got, got, and then we've got some, some crunchy rocks. Jaffa guys, yeah! Get your crunchy rocks out. Yeah. And some milky ball waters, yeah! <laughs> what a great haul! What do you think? Who wants a Jaeger bomb? Apparently not Jordan, because he's fucking miserable, niggas. Not Jordan, boy! Ooh. Boy! 